Hi guys, this is Kelly once again from Bond Machine and today I'll be reviewing the Victoria Nutstitch ZZ570 model sewing machine. Okay, this is a German machine and um, has some impre impressive and interesting features. Okay, I will quickly run through the um, features of the machine and um, also do some couple of stitches with it also. Now it comes with a double thread stand which um, can be used with your twin needle all right um, right here you have um, the um, pressure for the presser foot okay you can just press this down and release it like that all right here um, you have the tension as always and also right here you have a kind of um, description on how to thread the machine but I will show you that in a moment right here you have um, the needle positioning okay this is for the center position this is um, can turn it to this way left and right and as you do that the needle um, position moves right here you have um, the automatic buttonhole function okay you can also use that to get the buttonhole from the left to the right and up and down I will do this in a moment and right here you have the imbue stitches you have about eight imbue stitches which is the here is for the regular um, straight stitch the progression for the zigzag the blind stitch the dotted um, zigzag this 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 and this okay and also um, Right here, it has um, an inbuilt twin needle functionality. Okay, so when you um, you can see this for the single needle and when you're using the twin needle. Okay, um, now when you turn this lever down here, the machine automatically works with the twin needle, and when you put it back, it works with the single needle. Okay, right here you have um, the stitch length regulator. Okay, which is from like zero to four, and right here um, this is for the back stitch. You just press this down and you're back stitching. All right. Now um, this here controls the feed dogs okay um once you bring the this one down the feed dogs goes goes up you can also press this down and the feed dogs comes down and that is when you're doing the free motion embroidery okay so i'll leave this down for now and um it uses the regular um shuttle and bobbin okay um it uses db dc and db dp and ha needles okay so i got a pack of needle right here um it has um, the motor actually is at the back and it has a um, switch for the light okay so in case you're sewing in the night you can always use that as your as a form of um, illumination for night sewing okay so I'll quickly run through the treadmill of the machine and um, do a couple of stitches with the machine okay I already treaded the machine it's quite easy from um, the tread stand which is at the back you just pass it through this um, there's a small tiny hole here then you pass it through this it has two holes for the twin needle but you can pass it through one of them or any of them goes down to the tension plate okay down to this needle carrier then down to this place and down to this place because it uses a front oscillatory um, mechanism you tread from front to back okay this also is the stitch length uh, sorry the tension regulator and this is the indicator here okay so um now i want to sew the regular stretch stitch Okay, this is the indicator for the straight stitch. Okay, so I'll just put it at this and I'll leave it at the stitch length of four. All right, so when I sew right now, there you have it. That's for the regular straight stitch. Okay, I can always make this tiny, just reduce the stitch length a bit to like, let's say two. Okay, there you have it, a much tiny stitch. Now I want to um, sew the zigzag, so I just come here and just increase the progression. I'm using the highest um, um, zigzag uh, progression here, so I'm just uh, leave it at one and. guys the zigzag all right so I want to further reduce the stitch length to like let's say this and
guys that's the um a much reduced zigzag all right so i would also um let me turn it to the other one so i want to sew this now i just turn this lever okay so there you have it and if i sew Also, um, reduce the stitch length to get a more closer stitch so let's say I want to reduce it a bit okay so am I so now okay I reduce the stitch length so There you have it. Um, and let's say I want to, okay, much reduce um, stitch length. Um, let's say I want to sew the other ones. Let me just quickly go through it. Let me just skip to this one here. I want to sew this. And actually playing with the um, stitch length so you can see the progression down to a much uh, more finer stitch so I would want to sew this right now and in doing that I'll just have to turn this down to this okay it's already there and um, I'll have to reduce this stitch length to like um, let's say two so I can get a much more um, closer stitch so more like a duck okay just like this you can actually reduce the stitch length to get a much more closer um, pattern just like um, what I have here okay um, there's a much more closer one okay so I would um, just, just skip this and go to this okay all right so I'm sewing this right now okay so it's quite easy so just um, it that's the for this one now um to sew your um the buttonhole which i'll do quickly before i wrap up the video um you just have to return this now back to the regular um zigzag all right so you come here and you put this lever here you use this one okay you just turn this to you're sewing the you know the buttonhole has four sides so when you sew right now it so the down part then the other part then you just complete it okay guys there you have it that's the buttonhole and use your sim rip to just um, rip it open okay so that's the buttonhole so now um 
when you get your machine, um, it's a pretty strong machine. I'm German, like I said, um, actually recommended for beginners, intermediate, and expert tailors or those that so. And um, it's a pretty nice machine. I like the build, I like the simplicity, and I like um, the design and the shape. So thank you so much for watching and God bless you.